Clean the pool, change the filter, fill the pool, clean the stains around the pool. Which makes me wonder, does he actually want me to destroy evidence? Because I'm down with that if he does. Okay, yep, I am going to have to clean this entire freaking crime scene. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. No. Well, hey, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are checking out a game called Pool Cleaning Simulator. Now, huge thank you to the developers. Oh, hold on one second. Okay, I am back, and it is probably worth mentioning that my cat has the zoomies, so I fully expect to get interrupted about... I don't know, another eight or nine times while I'm doing this recording. Anyway, as I was saying, huge thank you to Freemind, the developers, for setting me up with a review copy of this game. There's the kitten again. Now, I have actually played this game for a few minutes. Uh, basically, I went through and did the tutorial because I figured that was going to be the most, like, hand-holdy of all the missions. So, yeah, I did the tutorial, and I gotta admit, the tutorial was actually really relaxing. So, yeah, let's jump in and clean some pools. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I know, I said this was a relaxing game, and that does not sound relaxing, but it does sound like a whole lot of fun, so yeah, let's see if we can get that job. Hey, I need your help, bro. There was an accident in my swimming pool, the whole area is covered in blood and garbage, in addition, the police have launched an investigation and are looking for evidence among all the things in the pool. Uh, yeah, there are like little bonus items you can find. I don't know what the bonus is when you find them, but yeah, there are a few little, like many things you can also do on each level. Anyway, you seem like a legitimate homie who doesn't cooperate with the police. I leave the decision on what to do with it to you. Code for the canteen is 3960. The manual's inside. Greetings from Sebastian the Sharkinator Shark. Okay, now we're going to be required to have a pressure washer, a UV lamp, and a filter. And I think I only have a pressure washer. Yeah, that would have been it. I only have a pressure washer full stop. Okay, let's grab ourselves a filter. Oh, is this the UV lamp? Oh, of course it is. It's the most expensive thing in the friggin' thing. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll buy that. Oh, let me guess. I don't have the money, you're not gonna let me buy it. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to do a different job to get the money up to actually go do the murder swimming pool. So, this one needs a pressure washer, a landing net, and a filter. And we've already got a filter. Okay, on behalf of the Hotel Paradise... about uh, Paradise. I am looking for a professional pool cleaning service that can solve our piranha problem. Okay, also probably not all that relaxing. One of our customers accidentally let these angry fish into our pool and we had to evacuate the entire area. If you could make them disappear or clean up and clean our pool, that would be great. Remember to replace the filter. The code for the pipe box is 5532. Pipe system is quite complicated. Here's the instructions to empty the pool. You have to press the red button, move the red lever. To refill it, turn the red wheel valve, move the blue lever, and press the blue button. If the filter's been replaced correctly, clean water should flow. Okay, well, this one sounds pretty interesting. Hopefully it's going to pay us the 400 bucks so we can go do the murder swimming pool. Now, what do we got? We've got the letter we've already read. Okay, take care of the piranhas, then empty the pool, then clean it, then change the filter, then fill it, and then put everything back. And there's a hidden treasure we can find as well. Okay, well, here's the pool. What do we got? One, two... It's going to tell me how many piranhas, right? Yeah, there's only five piranhas in here, so... Let me grab my little, uh... Fishnet thing. I think that's how I... Ah, uh, yes. I was going to say, I think that's how I get into my hands. Now, how hard are you guys going to be to get? Not terribly. What am I supposed to do with you? Can I just... Oh, hello! Oh, I am so sorry, little buddy. I say this like I'm not going to actually just kill you off anyway. Okay, it says I have... Oh, oh, hold on, there's an arrow over this box. Nope, I missed the box by a mile. Come here, get yourself into the box, thank you. Gotcha, there, okay, finally, let's go throw them in the box. Okay, so I'm not going to need this net anymore, we might as well put that away. Whoops, nope, that's how you put things away, Digby. Yeah, what is this hidden treasure? Because I'd kind of like to get that out of the way as well. Let's just poke around the edges a little bit and see if we see anything obvious. Is there going to be something in the bottom of the pool? Oh, hello. Now that the piranhas are gone, it'll let me in the pool. Okay, that seems fair. Yeah, I'm just going to have a quick poke around, and then if I can't find it, we will come right back. One hour later. 
Okay, well, the boss man's here, and he's telling me he wants me to interact with the pin pad, so I'm thinking that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, pool code or the pipe box is 5532. Alright, dude, I will go interact with the pin pad just to make you go away. Okay, what did I say? Five. Uh, yes. Oh, five. Oh, there we go. 5532, I think is what I just said. It is. Okay, well, hold that thought. Can I, uh... Alright, except by selecting the confirm button. I did. I opened the box. Okay, now it wanted me to... Okay, empty the pool. I have to press the red button and move the red lever. So, red button. And then move the red lever. Now you're gonna let me, uh... Move at all here, game? Oh, hold on. There it goes. Oh, thank God. Apparently I had to... I want to say it was press the, uh... E key, which, I mean, makes no sense at all, but there you go. Anyway, okay, we're emptying the pool. Slowly but surely. I'm not real sure about that. But overall, actually, the water is quite pretty. Although the physics for it are a little bit, uh, a little bit weird in places. Okay, that was a lot more forgiving than I thought it was going to be. Alright, well, there we go. We've gotten the pool clean, so now it wants us to change... Oops, that is not how you do that, Digby. <laughs> yeah, it wants us to change the pool filter, which means we're probably going to need to get back into this box. Now, see how long it takes me to remember both the number and how to get back out of it. Okay, 5532 five, is perfect. And all I have to do for that is... Click on that. Okay, take use filters with you, don't throw them in the trash. Gotcha. And then, okay, yeah, I remembered how to get back up, too. Nice. Alright, actually, you know what, dum-dum? Your next mission was to fill the pool. <laughs> and then flip that, and then push that. Now, is that working? It is working. A little bit creepy, but it's working. Okay, you know what? There was not a single moment in that process where the water didn't look a little bit weird. Uh, Alright, so the only thing we've got left is bring my tools back to the van. Okay, we don't want to do that because we still want to find the treasure. Now, I kind of poked around like the obvious places and I didn't see anything. Okay, what is this? Oh, hello. What did you do? Oh, well, hold on. There's another one over here. Okay, oh, we got another one over here. Are we doing anything? Is there ones like on the backs of the columns? Oh, no, nope, there's one down here though. Um, how about back here? Yep, another one back here. Another one over here. Many, many minutes later. Oh, hold on, is this one I pressed already? No, it was not. Aha, okay, what is going on in here then? Oh, we don't actually get to bring it with us, it just says find it. Okay, well hopefully the finder speed for the treasure is high enough that we can buy that UV lamp and do the murder pool. Alright, well, the game is now telling me that this level contains drastic elements, which I assume is body parts or blood splatter or something, and it asks me if I want to enable censorship. So, consider that your warning. If you're a little squeamish or this isn't something that sounds like it might be interesting to you, go ahead and turn the video off, I won't hold it against you. Alright, no, I do not want censorship. Okay, what do we got? Hey, I need your help, bro. Alright, we've already read that. So, we need to empty the pool, clean the pool, change the pill to fill the pool. 
clean the stains around the pool. I had a feeling stains might be involved, so I did bring my sponge too, just in case. And then we can put 26 trash into the dumpster and mark evidence of 0 of 6. Yeah, Sebastian, I know that uh, snitches get stitches and all of that. However, I'm thinking I would really like the bonus money. So really quick, I thought it might be easier if I marked off the evidence first. Um, yeah, whenever you pick up the evidence sign, you get the little green thing telling you where to put it. But it's not actually letting me put it here. Do I have to do these in order? Because number one was right there. Which would make this one number two, maybe? Oh, okay, no, it doesn't really matter. And this game has a thing about inflatable ducks. I don't know how it was used in the murder, but... I'll take your word for it, game. Twelve seconds later. Okay, hold on. So I just threw out a magazine, came back, and found this, which looks an awful lot like a murder weapon. I keep finding these little post-it notes with uh, different things jotted on them that also look like they might be important. I found some lady's ID over there, which I'm thinking might actually be... Which I'm thinking might key into the murder scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart this level and find out if the game is just letting me mark anything as evidence or do I actually have to find the real evidence. There's a coffee cup without lipstick, which kind of leads me to think the coffee cup with lipstick is the evidence. So you know what? We're going to mark it. I mean, worst case scenario, I'm going to get it wrong. Ooh, hold on. She was killed here. I don't know what that is. What is it? Were you killed or were you bludgeoned to death? Um, Alright, well, it doesn't change the fact that... Oh, hold on. There was a body dragged that way. And then a body dragged this way? Uh, Tell me that put that back. Okay, there it is. Yes. Now, that means we can get in here, which is probably the scene of the murder. Oh, that's right. You gave me the code for that. So it was... I was just looking at it two seconds ago. 3960. Okay, no, I want to use the keypad, thank you. 3960. And check. No, 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 I want to get in here. Okay, so, we have a big trail of blood from here. There's the murder weapon. Okay, she was bludgeoned with a pipe. So, we've got the murder weapon, which means that the knife actually isn't evidence. I'll tell you what, we're going to keep the knife as evidence here for a minute. Okay, so she was dragged out. She was chucked in the pool. Is there any evidence in the bottom of the pool, I wonder? Actually, there's a really easy way to figure that one out. Let's go look at the guy's instructions. Okay, long space going to run in, choosing the zero homie, blah 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 blah. Okay, so water is the blue button. Yeah, that's water down, so we need to hit the blue button first. Tell me I hit the blue button. I did not. Okay, blue button first. Then Turn this lever and that lever. And then we have to hit the blue lever there, yes? Has that done it? Oops, oh, for God's sakes, yes. Remember how to get away from here, Digby. That looks like it's draining to me. Okay, perfect. So, back to the murder mystery. She was thrown in the pool, and we will look down there for evidence in a minute. And then she was dragged out right about here. And that's where she dropped her ID. And I'm assuming this is where they found her, yes? Okay, is there any evidence over in this direction? It was definitely a woman, because there's her shoe. So I'm actually feeling a bit confident in the purse. Because it's right next to a big blood stain. So yeah, I'm going to say the purse is the clue. Yeah, this has no blood on it. Let's see if we can pick this back up. Um, how do I unplace things? Okay, let's try that again. So, we've got the murder weapon is the pipe. The pool is draining, yes. That's going to be evidence number one. Alright, so that makes you the murder weapon. Then she was dragged to the pool. She got dragged out the other side. And that means that the... Okay, well, that's actually next to a blood stain as well. So hold that thought. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if maybe the evidence is next to blood stains and the stuff that isn't is just garbage. Which would make the purse actually evidence because that is next to a blood stain. Ooh, how about the coffee cup with the lipstick on it? Does that qualify? 
Yeah, see, that's next to a blood stain. That's next to a blood stain. And I think that was it, yes? I mean, we will check the bottom of the pool just to be sure. Okay, well, definitely that's number one. And we also had a blood stain over here. So what is this? Aha, broken cell phone. Pretty good odds that's evidence as well. All right, pool is more or less drained. I'm not seeing anything that looks like evidence in it, although I will tell you that if the TV show CSI is even remotely accurate, I would probably get nailed for uh, interfering with an investigation for doing that little trick. All right, let's see how many bloodstained things actually match up. So I'm going to save the half a pencil or whatever the hell that is for last, just in case. Okay, that's all stuff that's already been marked. And yeah, I'm kind of like in that as evidence. And then... I can't remember what was next. I think it was the purse, yes? So we can do that one. We'll run around the back. We'll get the purse. I should have just went down the other side because that's where it is. Okay, there's four. And then the broken cell phone makes five. Oh, okay, there's just garbage in the bathroom. That's not a big deal. So yeah, broken cell phone would be number five. Okay, you really not let me do that because I moved it? Okay, so now we can mark the cell phone as number five. I'm assuming this is where it's meant to be. And then... Yeah, I think the only thing I've seen anywhere near a blood stain, other than all that stuff, is this whatever the hell it is. I don't know what it is, but I ain't touching it because I have a sneaking suspicion. That's evidence. Okay, little ducky, I think you're the last piece of trash. Okay, there we go. Finally, we got the trash put away and the evidence marked. Now, it says to clean the pool, change the filter, fill the pool, clean the stains around the pool, which makes me wonder, does he actually want me to destroy evidence? Because I'm down with that if he does. Okay, yep, I am going to have to clean this entire freaking crime scene. Okay, well, I finally had to get out the stupid UV light to find it, but I'm pretty sure this is the vinyl blood stain. And it is not. Apparently I have missed more. So, hold that thought. Let me just pop this back. And then, yeah, let's go see if we can find the missing blood. Okay, please be the last of it, yes? Okay, and that was the final thing. So, let me just throw my... Uh, pressure washer back in the van and then all we got to do after that is change the filter and put some water back in this thing okay so dirty filter there clean filter in okay to fill the pool I then need to turn the lever 
Yes. Ugh, no, Digby. Turn the lever with the mouse button. And then we have to flip the brown one on the bottom. And then just push the green button. Oh, do I have to do the brown and the yellow both? Maybe? Is that what I did wrong? Aha, yes, that was absolutely what I was doing wrong because here comes the goo. Okay, I am wondering, can I actually swim? Or do I just walk around on the bottom? I walk around on the bottom. And the liquid physics is struggling a little bit with the angles. Okay, well, you know what? It is what it is. And I've got to admit, while this game is far from being flawless and definitely is not the most relaxing sim game I've ever played, it is not a bad game. I had a really good time with it. I do find the, in particular, the pool cleaning bits like incredibly zen and relaxing. The, like, picking up the trash, maybe that not so much. But yeah, the game's got like side quests and finding stuff that's hidden around the maps. And yeah, there's just there's all kinds of other things to do as well. And while, like I said, it's not exactly perfect, it is definitely at least playable and fun. So yeah, once again, a huge thank you to the devs for hooking me up with a review copy of this game. I had a really good time playing it. Oh, and by the way, we got a thing from the police saying thank you for identifying the evidence. They caught a dangerous murderer, and we got a prize of 100 bucks. So yeah, kids, binge-watching CSI, totally worth it. And on that relaxed note... As always, I've been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick look at Pool Cleaning Simulator. And yeah, I hope to see you for whatever comes next. Oh, yeah.